leaping lemurs, and jumping giraffes. Awesome alliteration, huh? It's the list you never knew you needed. Which animals have the best ups? And where do humans stack among them? Stick around to find out where your jump would be astronomical and where it would be impossible. Starting with elephants, they can't jump at all, along with sloths, hippos, and rhinos. Their leg bones don't have the spring action that ours do. No need to jump when your massive size protects you. The jumping pit viper, like any snake, can strike at a distance one-third to one-half its body length. So for this two-foot-long serpent, that would be up to one foot. But this snake strikes so fast and powerful, its whole body leaves the ground. Yep, we humans are pretty weak jumpers. You can usually leap a little farther than your own height. For the average person, that's roughly six feet. But our species does excel at long-distance running. We share 99% of our DNA with chimpanzees. They obviously got the jumping gene. Over seven times their height in a single bound. Though their leg muscles are less than half the size of ours, they generate twice the power. Giraffes can jump, just not very high. Only one-sixth of their total body length. They don't do it often since their six-foot neck gives them all the ups they need. That same extremely long neck is ironically too short to reach the ground. Surprisingly, horses don't like to jump either, and they don't get very high when they do. The world record broken in 1949 almost tripled the average horse's jump. Horses are the only single-code animal on the planet. Yep, they stand, run, and jump on one digit. Michael Jordan was known for getting air. His four-foot vertical leap quadrupled the regular Joes, and even doubled the average for most NBA players. His mind-blowing 15-foot leap, that famous foul line dunk, more than doubled what most of us can pull off. Squirrels can jump six times their own height. They're really smart, too. They pretend to bury food to trick thieving squirrels watching them. When they do really bury their nuts, they tend to forget where they hit 75% of them. Oops. Note to self, learn map making. A kangaroo's standing vertical jump is more than its own height, meaning it'd be like you jumping right over your friend's head. Fun fact, on land, kangaroos can only move their hind legs together. In water, they can kick them separately. One deer could easily hop right over the other. But a deer can't jump both high and far at the same time. By the way, deers have antlers, but antelope have horns. Because antlers are shed and replaced each year. Horns aren't. Didn't know that. A six-foot jump is six times the average house cat's own height. Cats love to be high up, like on a bookshelf or fridge. It's instinct to want to watch over their territory. For dogs, it varies drastically depending on the breed. So here are the record holders. A greyhound aptly named Feather jumped nearly 6.5 feet in the air in 2017. A whippet named Sounders leaped over 36 feet in 2019. Hey, I fell over 24 feet last night. <laughs> I was trying to get to my seat at the movie theater. A cassowary could jump right over your refrigerator. Just don't test that, please. This heaviest bird in Australia has a 5-inch toe claw that could uh, not end well for you. Olympic athletes seem to be superhuman. Javier Sotomayor's record-breaking 8-foot high jump is 8 times the average, and Mike Powell's 29-foot long jump 5 times. Penguins aren't amazing jumpers on land, but they can easily reach 9 feet when torpedoing up out of the water and onto the ice. They do it by wrapping their bodies in a coat of tiny bubbles that reduce drag. An impala can jump 10 feet up. You'd have to be on the moon to get air like that. They're pretty smart, too. They purposely visit water holes during the hottest part of the day when animals that feed on them are the most sluggish. The Atlantic salmon swims hundreds of miles upstream to lay eggs in the same exact place where it was born. That often includes jumping up to 12 feet in the air to clear waterfalls. Lions can leap five times their body length, almost enough to clear a school bus. And just like your kitty, a lion can sleep up to 20 hours a day. 
Springbok are excellent hoppers. They even do this thing called pronking, where they show off how high they can jump. The name means jumping antelope in Afrikaans. A European hare can jump 15 feet in the air. Rabbits can only reach about a third of that. The power comes in a hare's longer legs. A hare's fur also changes color throughout the year. A rabbit's doesn't. Cougars dominate both jumping vertically and leaping horizontally. One could jump right over a giraffe and leap over a school bus long ways. The ancient Incan city Cusco in Peru was designed in the shape of a cougar because the animal symbolized the power of the earth. Dolphins leap 25 feet into the air while swimming because it saves time and energy. There's less resistance in the air than in the water. They do it also to get a good view of their surroundings. A clip springer is an adorable little antelope that can jump 25 feet straight up into the air. That's 10 times their body height. It'd be like a human springing up to a fifth-story window. You could do that if you were on the Asteroid series. A lemur leaps 12 times its body length, and that's mostly in the trees. On land, they do more of a funny hop-skip. These animals can be from 3 inches to 3 feet tall. But there used to be prehistoric lemurs the size of a gorilla. A humpback whale can't exactly jump its entire body out of the water, but 50 feet is close. This breaching isn't just whales coming up for air. They also do it to hunt and communicate with others. And now, we enter the territory of not impressive distances, but ratios. A grasshopper can jump 20 times its own size. That would be the equivalent of you jumping over a basketball court. A single grasshopper can eat half its body weight in plants in just one day. A tarsier is a unique little primate that's like a cross between a monkey and a lemur. They leap between branches 16 feet apart, which is 40 times their own length. They also have the largest eyes compared to body size among all mammals. A kangaroo rat can only leap about 9 feet, but that's 45 times their size. These desert rodents never drink water in a lifetime. They get all the hydration they need from the seeds they eat. The African frog could line up 50 of its friends and leap right over them. Frogs don't also need to drink, since they absorb water through their skin. And that bubble thing on their throat is called a vocal sac. It helps make their calls louder. Frog hoppers are also known as spit bugs because of the foamy, saliva-like encasings their nymphs stay in. Ew. They can jump 70 times their body height. The g-force created during that jump is 80 times greater than what an astronaut launching into space on a rocket feels. That's cool, but I just can't get past the foamy saliva thing, though. A jumping spider can leap 100 times its body length which would be like a human clearing two jumbo jets. Jumpers make up 13% of all spider species, terrifying, I know, and they release a safety net thread of web when they leap. The flea, known for its crazy ups, can jump only 7 inches, but that's 150 times their height. Like you or me jumping right over the Eiffel Tower. Their 13-inch leap is even more impressive. It's 220 times their length. But the famous flea isn't today's jumping champion. That would be a tiny crustacean called a cope pod. They're about as long as a dime is thick, but they can leap 500 times that. They're also the fastest jumpers. It'd be the equivalent of a human reaching 3,000 miles per hour. That's four times the speed of sound in a leap. Now, if you really want to go somewhere where your jump would be out of this world, just head to Comet 69P. Your vertical leap would be infinite. The gravity is so weak, you could jump right off it and into space. Compare that to Earth, where you'd need to go 25,000 miles per hour to break free from gravity's pull. Or the opposite, the one place no creature, human or animal, could jump – a neutron star. Jumping wouldn't exist because the third dimension of height wouldn't be a thing. The gravity is so immense, life would be 2D. Ooh, Shakespeare! 2D or not 2D? That ain't a question.